Well, here comes Jim in his 73 Chevy Silverado four-door going for a rip across the field. We're going to be heading out and about and we're going to be doing a little bit of off-road driving. Going through the dirt, pull a few donuts, grab some air. Oh, no, didn't break anything. That's good. And we're going to go meet up with uh, Bill here in another big old Chevy Silverado. Now, Bill, he's got a two-door and it's a short box. I don't know why he painted this color, but it looks pretty cool, and he's really airing it out here on the Diorama Junkyard. Used to be a junkyard. There's oil stains everywhere that prove that, but right now it's kind of in a state of flux. Holy, watch the foliage. My goodness. All right, now we've got Tom in the SEMA truck. Tom likes to take it a little bit slower, and he's doing a little rock crawling up. Uh, banged up against the drive shaft. He said that's enough of that. Got a couple rocks stuck in the tires, making an old clunky, clunky, clunky sound. And he does like to tour around to see what is left in the junkyard. A couple old cars there. And now where are we off to? There's some farm vehicles. And, oh, going over the boulders, apparently. Causing a big old ruckus on the farm field here. It's not really a farm field, but it is a field that could be farmed, I suppose. What are you doing now there, Tom? You just stay... Oh, you didn't... You bess and you watch those pedestrians now. You be very careful. Looks like somebody got... Oh, no. Anyways, they're fine. Um, they were mannequins. They weren't actual people, so... Just driving through and making a show, you know? Anyways, all the boys are meeting up here. Here comes Harry, long may we drive, Harry in his Pennzoil truck. Now he's, if you thought Tom was slow, Harry is a little slower on the old go pedal here. Although he didn't manage to secure his cap on the back of that bed. That big long box just lost it on some bumps. And uh, he is running just some regular tires out. And that's what I was afraid of. He's gotten stuck. Almost high centered on a bush, and he's just spinning those back tires. He's not going anywhere. So it looks like the boys are going to have to give him a little pull, you know, show him how it's done. You get yourself a lift, get in a couple big old tires, and you can hammer down on that gas pedal and have a whole lot of fun. Oh, and then the Pan Am boys come along here now. Their vehicles are, they're they're just a little bit more cautious. They like to stay on the road, but they also don't know how to fill up a gas tank because, as we can see, we're, we're running on fumes here. We're running on fumes. Welcome back to the Diecast Museum. Today we are looking at M2. Machines by Castline, 164 scale trucks. In particular, Chevy Silverado square body trucks from the mid 1970s. This is a new casting that was released at the end of 2023. And here is one example of this truck that I'm going to be sharing with you guys here. We're going to be opening all of these up on the review table and looking at those loose for roll test and all the details. Very cool trucks. I've put together quite a few of them. I wasn't able to find these locally, unfortunately, so I did have to go to eBay and buy them. But I've got quite a nice selection. So we're going to go in for a closer look at all these trucks. And let's see what this new casting is all about. Alrighty then, let's go in for a closer look at these square body trucks. Here we have a release 71 of the 1976 GMC Sierra Grand 15 4x4. I'm not sure what the other vehicles in that set were. There's always six in a release. I didn't get them all. I found that one on eBay. Had to have it. Love that color. And as you can see, we've got four other boxed sets to look at. This one was very expensive. A 1975 Chevrolet Silverado 30. 4x4, four four. Uh, FL02 is the code on this M2 release. It's a 60th anniversary uh, SEMA truck. Oh, and it just went down there. 
None the worse for wear, however, these M2 trucks are built to last, just like the Chevys and GMCs that they depict in perfect 164 scale. Check out the paint job on this truck and all that accessory gear. We've got this uh, kind of contractor rack on the back, a bush bar on the front, lifted uh, suspension, big gnarly Tires, including the dualies, a drop pintle hitch on the back. We're going to get out of the packaging so we're not having so much trouble with the focus and able to roll it around. So we're going to take a look at all these trucks. Now, this is the only single cab truck that I have to open with you guys today. It's a GMC Sierra Grand. And, uh, of course, that's a 1976 Sierra Grand 15 4x4. Really nice color. So we'll be opening that up as well. Now this has got to be my favorite next to that SEMA truck is this Performance Chevrolet lifted Chevy with no bush bar on it. However, it has a big roll bar and a whole bunch of kind of fog lights. Check out those bench seats. Just such an awesome truck. Kind of a metallic brown two-tone with beige. Same setup with the lift kit, those huge tires. It has a trailer, and on that trailer is a 1957 Chevrolet two-door Bel Air. Very nice. So we'll look at that as well. But this mainly is about the trucks. And on top of that, we've got two more trucks. Pan Am. Pan Am Air. This is an airline company, of course. So you can tell by the packaging if you're not familiar with Pan Am. Who isn't? They've been around for like almost 100 years. Another contractor setup truck. Big chrome bumpers. We're going to look at all the differences on these three trucks that I have. I will be, of course, collecting all that I can in this line of trucks. And really cool that it came with this little two-door as well. So I guess I was mistaken when saying that this was the only smaller Chevy slash GMC square body that we're looking at. And finally, Pennzoil. This is a Pennzoil exclusive. Long may we drive. This one has a stock ride height. Dually tires, of course, once again. Really accurate wheel hubs. And we've got some elastic bands we've got to take off for sure. That's a removable back cap on that 8-foot box. And check out this uh, tool slash car hauler trailer. The really neat car. Corvette XP86. I believe that's a race car from the 1950s or 60s 59 it says right there and this is of course is a 73 gmc sierra 1500 so we've got some really cool stuff the rest of the boxes we've already opened up in the last m2 cast line review they were not chevy square bodies but i was kind of using them as a prop to hold everything up and display with you guys I'm going to get everything out of the boxes and we're going to review them loose and then take them for a drive on Sam's salvage yard. I've removed the trucks from their packaging. They are still adhered to their platforms thanks to a couple of small screws which I will remove. But I thought first let's just take a look at these trucks on their platforms and then we'll go in for the loose roll review. This is a nice way of looking at all the vehicles without my fingers being at all in the camera view. And uh, just really nice setups because these are big trucks and having trailers. Nice to be able to hold it all up at once for you guys. Kind of like this. We're going to look at each and every one of these trucks. I mean, my goodness. I am so impressed by the quality and details on these trucks and trailers as well as their cars. Really nice base as well if you're looking to keep your vehicles on the base. It's quite nice. Of course, there's also the clear box that can protect them from dust if you want. And just display it like that. Very clear, high quality. I always keep these boxes. I've never thrown a single one away in all the years I've been collecting M2. 
and uh, you know you can stack them up on top of each other if you want to display that way these trucks are way too big to be displayed in the background planar display walls these model 5324 planar display cases wouldn't probably even be able to accommodate much more than well everything beyond the back fender would probably be too much so you have to find alternative ways of displaying these size vehicles and i have a shelf I like to display them on so that works out well for me and now let's just look at the pan am truck those nice details the chrome bumper it's got some pre-drilled holes in the bed for i believe the fifth wheel and other attachments that m2 might make just a really nice set of vehicles these are limited to 9,600 pieces worldwide, so not a lot really. A lot of people are very interested in these big trucks. And in real life, these trucks are commanding a lot of money at resale when in good condition, even in bad condition for restoration, quite a bit of money. Every once in a while, I check them out here in Canada on the... Uh, secondary market in real life one one scale and i'm always amazed at how much these trucks are worth to this day in good shape tens of thousands of dollars very collectible trucks huge gas motors in them maybe some of them have diesels i know most of them are gas and uh, four-wheel drive options make them even more expensive. But we've got a nice selection here, and we're going to get them all off these bases now for that roll in the salvage yard. <laughs> 